guys, it's Kelly. Uh, I wanted to talk to you. I want to come in and just sort of um, have a quick conversation with you guys this morning uh, because I am hearing a lot of uh, people. Ugh, okay, it's popping up on me. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people talking about trying to uh, do too many things at once, whether that's running multiple businesses or whether it is, uh, you know, trying to do, you know, massive shifts across multiple uh, areas of your business at the same time uh, or learning multiple new technologies at the same time. All of these things are going to be recipes for problems because uh, what you have to understand is that change is hard. And we don't do well with change in general, uh, even if you think you do. I mean, I live for change, man. I am the change queen. And even I can't do a whole lot of change at once, especially not after a year of pandemic, okay? So, you know, the average person is operating on about 40% of their normal capacity right now because of the pandemic. So you have to account for that as you're looking at things. And I know everybody's all excited and we all want to get everything done yesterday, but the, the surefire path to success is focus. Do one thing at a time, open one business at once. Okay. Opening a single business is a full time job. Okay. It is insanely hard. And the, especially the first two years of that business, trying to do multiple businesses uh, as startups as one, at once is basically sabotaging yourself. So I know it's not going to sound like a lovely thing for some of you. I know that some of you have already done it and I get it, but you know, you've got to adjust. Um, and I would, I would highly encourage you that if you are trying to start more, more than one business at once right now, that you pick the one that you're in love with the most and just do that one. Even if it means closing the other two down and saying, look, I'm sorry, I know we got started and, and we're not going, but you know, I just can, I, I need to focus, right? The most useful thing. And, and I want to say this for those of you who might be, um, doing online courses and stuff. Focus on one course, one, for at least a year, okay? Because this is the same thing. When we spread our energies across too many platforms, we diminish the amount of energy that goes into each one and we lower our ability to manifest for those things. And so I know that it's frustrating. I know that you're like, well, I don't know which one's gonna work. It doesn't matter, right? It's not, it, I wanna be clear, the universe is not looking at you and going, well, you get to have this one and you don't get to have that one. It's not doing that. What it's saying is whatever you're committed to, I'm committed to. And when you're spreading your energies like this, it's not, you're not committed to anything. You're just like, throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks, right? And so what you need to do is you need to pull back, refocus, think about what you really can commit to for at least a year. And uh, that's for, for programs. For a business, it's at least two years, okay? Focus on that one thing for that period of time and then you can think about opening another thing or expanding or whatever. But I will tell you that if you focus on one business for two years, you're going to have enough business coming in that you can now focus on expanding that business for the next year. So it, it takes a very long time to get a business to the point where you're ready to start another business. And basically that time is when you have brought in enough people working within the original business to run it without you, then you can consider starting another business, right? But if you are holding the energy for this business and, and you're doing it by yourself, then trying to start another one is crazy, okay? And I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just, I've been doing business. I mean, I helped my mother start her first business when I was 13 years old and I am 51 now. And I have been running businesses ever since. And 
So I want you to understand that this comes from a lifetime of experience and from the wisdom of other business owners, okay? Um, are there people who can start multiple businesses and make them work? Yeah. Do they have a life? No. Okay. So I, I just want you to understand that what you're trying to do is you're trying to build a business so that it can fund a life for you. And so if you are, uh, you know, you've, you've got to pay attention to whether or not the life is the thing that you want, right? So mm, stick with one, okay, pick one and commit to it. And that's when the universe gets behind you. That's when your energies focus all in one direction. You don't question whether or not it's the right direction. Okay, that's the other piece. When you question whether or not it's the right thing to do, then the universe goes, oh, she's not really, he's not really committed, right? And then you're like, yeah, okay. So this is what I'm saying. Focus, commit, and take action towards that goal. And that will be the fastest path to success for you. Okay. I will talk to you again another time.